here again with Brett Tavo, author of Unpacking Greatness, a cheese book you can find on Amazon. Brett, the big story from this past week against the Jaguars was the Chiefs and the unleashing of Kadarius Tony. So we're going to look at four plays from him uh, in this particular game, how he was able to break out. And first off, I mean, just how difficult is it for a guy to come in in two weeks' time and have this many plays? It's got to be a work not only in his part, but also Andy Reid's part to get him going. Yeah, especially, you know, the the reputation that Andy Reid has in terms of his system being so intricate and requiring all the players to learn all the different positions, which it's an advantage when one guy gets hurt because you can still have your best players out there. You know, if, if a guy's strictly an X, but there happens to be a Z that's a better player, you know, you can plug guys in in different spots and get your best people out. But it does take a little bit more. There's a little bit steeper of a learning curve. Yeah, pretty impressed what he's done so far. So we'll start off uh, going chronolo chronological order here. Uh, the touchdown for him. We'll start off with that and uh, him coming across the formation. Yeah, this is, you know, the, with with Tyreek uh, Hill and, and obviously Miko Hardeman, you know, th those were big eye candy guys running the jet sweeps and orbit, mo uh, excuse me, fly motion, orbit motion, things like that. So here they're using Tony to, to have the same effect. It's supposed to distract the defense, and actually Patrick Mahomes went and talked about this after the game, and so we'll go through his reads. What he said his reads were on this one, he said it was flat, and then to the stick routes, even though Justin Watson looked like he kind of cuts off his stick route, and then to the Kelsey over, but instead he hears somebody yelling at him over on the sideline. That happens to be Kadarius Toney. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just it, by NFL standards, you're, getting, you're not getting any more wide open than that. I think I saw from Next Gen Stats it was the most wide open any receiver has ever been for a touchdown in the Next Gen Stats era. But uh, this is the fifth week <laughs> for Patrick Mahomes, so good for him to listen to Kadarius Tony and, and hear him. But uh, he's on the sideline, obviously a hop, skip, and jump into the end zone. The first touchdown for Kadarius on this game. Yeah, I, I was before you know you told me that you had asked uh, Mahomes about that. I was gonna you know compliment him that you know he's able to read that those that middle space and get down to the check down but i guess when you got a guy yelling at you it makes it a little bit easier huh <laughs> he's already used to Kadarius yelling at him but yeah it's kind of fascinating to know that uh, he said it was his fifth read on the play and sure enough you go back here and you see he was the fifth read but when he's screaming loud enough he's going to get the football let's go on and go to the next one here and uh something different from tony and again something different the chiefs can throw at the jaguars even though Kadarius tony's only been with the team two weeks yeah, we looked at this uh, exact same play here um, when we broke down the San Francisco game uh, with how the Chiefs dealt with the uh, tendency of, of uh, Nick Bosa to, to get upfield and, and disrupt uh, by slowing him down on the jet sweep. And obviously that was um, Miko Hardeman. Uh, so here, here you have Tony, um, as, I, as I mentioned last play, playing that same, same role here. And the biggest thing, and you mentioned this last time against San Francisco, the same here. They're going to leave a defensive end unblocked. You have to get by him, and we see Tony does that here. Yeah, that, that jab step by that tight end on the inside gets him to step down a little bit. And then as you got uh, noted there, you, you beat him with speed. And uh, what you gain is that, that extra blocker there. And not only that, we see Tony actually reads this pretty well and then follows an escort from Travis Kelsey all the way up the field. Yeah, so the, the uh, Jags look to be in, in cover two there. That corner is working hard to maintain outside leverage. So I, I don't know if that's MVS. It looks like MVS uh, is able to turn him out and, and Tony get inside of that, that uh, hard corner block and then um, get vertical behind the tight end. Sort of interesting before this play, if we go all the way back, uh, Brett, is I saw the safety kind of playing back and forth and back and forth. It actually helps the Chiefs that he backs up on this play because it gives him a little extra room and lets uh, Kelsey kind of run to him before he eventually uh, is stopped for the tackle. Yeah, absolutely. All right, next one from Kadarius Tony. Again, this was uh, two big plays already, a touchdown run and then obviously or a touchdown catch and then this run. Uh, let's go to this one, and he's lining up as the number one receiver on the outside here. Yeah, so the Chiefs are going to run uh, an outside zone uh, look to the field here, um, and and uh, Tony's going to run what's called a slide route. He's going to come all the way back across behind the line of scrimmage, um, and, the, and the objective here is to get the ball to an explosive player in the flat and let him create, and he does exactly that. As you can see, the flow goes this way, and then the Chiefs and Tony go that way with the rollout. And what's interesting, I don't know if you can read the coverage here, Brett, but uh, this thing, it's a good play for the Chiefs. They have them flowing the opposite direction, but 
Uh, also, the Jaguars have a secondary player ready, basically, for Tony out there. But what makes this play is kind of the individual skills we all thought he might bring to the Chiefs once he got there because he's breaking these tackles. This is kind of a Kadarius Tony play here. Yeah, yeah. The Jags are in cover, too, just like they were the last snap. That corner is is uh, funneling the, uh, that number one receiver inside and waiting um, for, for something to come to the flat, and he does. Um, but – you know, with, with guys like Tony, you just got to give a little bit of space to. And that's, you know, that's what makes him special as a player, even though, you know, the productivity hasn't been huge in the NFL. Um, it, he, he's always had that skill set to be able to, to, if you give him a little bit of space, be able to make an explosive play out of it. Yeah, the quick twitch ability, I think, is what everybody's seeing here. Short spaces, mm -hmm. he's able to wiggle and move around. And we see that here, not only the, with this, but also the spin move here. I get yeah. it kind of a special ability to be able to do that. All right, the last one I want to show you here is we're going to start off first with this earlier play. This was actually in the first quarter, but it's going to set up this other play uh, that Kadarius has. And uh, an interesting, actually, I say interesting, but this is kind of a common thing that the Chiefs run, as you were telling me, Brad. Yeah, Jesse, this was a good catch by you as we were looking at the the um, slant and go, which we'll look at next. But the, the Chiefs run this so much. If you go back to the beginning real quick, just it's just an outside zone, uh, gun outside zone, RPO. The backside is going to lock to protect against backside pressure. They're going to read that backside linebacker. Um, and you got a slant flat concept there. Um and Mahomes can pull it and throw the slant flat if he wants like he does there. But as you're going to see, this exact same um, setup with the motion is going to set up the, the play we'll look at next. Can we also appreciate the core strength that Patrick Mahomes has that I do not have here, which is to uh, look at this slant to Tony, not throw it, and then yank it back and throw it out to the outside to Noah Gray. Pretty impressive there. But, uh, again, yeah. going back here, the uh, slant. And so we had a flat route from the tight end and a slant route from Tony. That's an important thing to remember here. So let's now go to the second half and see what the Chiefs do here. Again, Tony in motion. Yep, same formation there. You're running uh, him in motion to the boundary. And the Chiefs are going to run the exact same look um, from a um, backfield standpoint. It's an outside. They're trying to make it look like an outside zone RPO. The back's coming across the face. Mahomes is going to um, – you know, mesh with the back as he's coming across. And then as you get there, that's right there. a double move here. So again, the quick twitch ability, we see that the cornerback gets the flag here for legal contact. He kind of stops Tony a little bit in his tracks, still recovers pretty well. But uh, then you see two special players here because you've got a back shoulder throw from Patrick Mahomes and you've got the leaping ability of Kadarius Tony here, go up to get this ball and have some ball skills. Uh, this is almost unstoppable if you execute like this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's. Um, I I didn't realize that that Tony really had that skill set. I know it's only one play, and I'm not going to overreact to one play, of course. But to go up and, and climb the ladder and get a ball like that, um, on a on a and and of course Mahomes throwing it on the back shoulder to the outside. Um, it's not necessarily if you if you stop it at the top of that slant there, Jesse. It's not an overly favorable. You go through that. The corner does a decent job. Um, he comes out on the flat, but then he realizes he's caught and, and he does get an illegal um, contact penalty. But that's not an overly favorable picture for the, the sluggo right there. But the fact that Mahomes can throw that to the outside on the back shoulder and Tony can go up and get it, as you said, it, it makes it um, a, a very hard route to guard in a, um, you know, a no lose situation for the offense i guess big picture with tony here uh, what are we seeing from him i mean I, you talk about the ball skills going up uh, it almost i don't want to say the name tyreek hill because that's way 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 farther than what Kadarius tony is but on that particular play that kind of is what is reminiscent of is that tyreek hill always had better ball skills than what he was given credit for probably as a smaller receiver but uh so far i guess early impressions of Kadarius tony and also how the chiefs are using him here trying to get him utilized here two weeks in yeah, it seems like, and, and, and to credit the coaching staff, I mean, I don't know what the, the snap counts were and, and what all was asked of him, but it seems like they, they narrowed down a few things um, to get him involved, um, particularly in, in that same role that, that Tyreek Hill did and Miko Hardeman uh, did um, in terms of, you know, the motion and, and getting the, the quick touches uh, to, to turn into possible explosive plays. 
Well, pretty impressive for the second week for uh, Kadarius Tony, and we'll see how the Chiefs plan on utilizing him as they get him more in the playbook. But as for now, a quick twitch guy who made some big plays for the Chiefs and doing so without the full knowledge of the playbook, the Chiefs will definitely take that. And as of right now, it sure looks like uh, they are on their way to winning that trade with the Giants for getting a talent like this in the offense with Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, and then I, all depending on the status of, of Juju Smith-Schuster going into next week um, and – um, not sure what the status of Hardman is, if, if you know he's going to practice tomorrow, but it could be a situation where you see him and uh, Miko Hardman on the field at the same time. That would be interesting to watch here for the Chiefs and to see how they utilize him the rest of the season as they go for uh, not only the number one seed in the playoffs, but potentially another Super Bowl run here uh, in the AFC and in the NFL. All right, Brett, thanks for joining along, and thanks to all you guys for watching here on The Details. Uh, be sure to check us out again next week.